A warm welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We pray for all the intentions on this channel. In a special way, we pray for those who have lost hope in life, that the Lord may increase their hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries i confess to, to almighty god, god and to you my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, we have shown forth your salvation to all the ends of the earth. Grant, we pray that we may look forward in joy to the glorious nativity of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 1 to 11. Console my people, Console them, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and call to her that her time of service is ended, that her sin is atoned for, that she has received from the hand of the Lord. Double punishment for all her crimes. A voice cries, prepare in the wilderness a way for the Lord. Make a straight highway for our God across the desert. Let every valley be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low. Let every cliff become a plain and the ridges a valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all mankind shall see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice commands, cry. And I answered, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and its beauty like the wild flowers. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows on them. 
The grass is without doubt the people. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God remains forever. Go up on a high mountain, joyful messenger to Zion, shout with a loud voice. Joyful messenger to Jerusalem, shout without fear. Say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. Here is the Lord coming with power, His arm subduing all things to Him. The prize of His victory is with Him. His trophies all go before Him. He is like a shepherd feeding His flock, gathering lambs in His arms holding them against his breast and leading to their rest the mother eves the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response here is our god coming with power here is our god coming with power oh sing a new song to the lord Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Your response, Here is our God coming with power. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Your response, here is our God coming with power. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. Your response? Here is our God coming with power. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Your response? Here is our God coming with power. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Lord, do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 18, verses 12 to 14. Jesus said to his disciples, Tell me, suppose a man has a hundred sheep and one of them strays, Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hillside and go in search of the stray? I tell you solemnly, if he finds it, it gives him more joy than do the ninety-nine that did not stray at all. Similarly, it is never the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's Gospel from Matthew chapter 18, verses 12 to 14. This parable tells us about our God. Our God who is always looking for us. He never gives up on us. For example, if I were the only person in the world who needed salvation, Jesus would still come to save me. He would still, he would still die for me if I were the only person who was in need of his salvation. 
this tells us that each and every individual is precious to god each and every individual is precious in the eyes of god and therefore god never stops looking and caring for us god is always looking for us so that we may feel his presence and therefore my dear brothers and sisters today there is something that this parable tells us to each one of us our god is the god of compassion and full of mercy he never he is never satisfied unless he finds us and specially those who are away from him specially those who feel that they have no one in this world those people who feel they have lost hope there is no meaning in life that those people who feel that they cannot be changed call upon him and see he will be there for you because he is waiting for your response he is waiting for each one of us so that we may be in his fold in his kingdom and therefore as we are coming as we are approaching the coming of christ to celebrate this christmas a joyful occasion of his coming of his birth let us feel hopeful that the lord is looking for us he is waiting for us he is waiting for my and your response to come back to him to be with him and to experience his love and his compassion his forgiveness and his mercy so let us surrender ourselves during this holy eucharist and ask the lord to give us the grace to go back to him and to be in his fold to be in his presence always amen in breath we bring you lord our bodies labor in wine we offer you our spirits grief we do not ask you lord who is my neighbor but stand united now My brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may, may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church be pleased o lord with our humble prayers and offerings and since we have no merits to plead our cause come we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all it 
and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's commands and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This all of you, eat of this my flesh. Take this is my blood, shed for sinners. So for my life I give and my love I share. Trust and believe in me. Truly I say, my brethren, should you not drink my blood? Should you not eat? All of you, eat of this my flesh. Take this is my blood, shed for sinners. So for my life I give and my love I share. Trust and believe in me. Let us pray, replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment. We humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through are partaking in this mystery. You may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Over hill and lofty mountain, hear the prophet's earnest call. Listen to his voice inspiring, this a message for us all. Wait for the Lord, he is coming. Lord, He will come. Rally at the trumpet's call. Rally, 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 faithful Christians all. Cutting all the royal armor with the glorious banner high. While for truth and right contending, angels watch you from the sky. Wait for the Lord, He is coming. Wait for the Lord, He will come. Rally at the trumpet's call, rally, 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 faithful Christian soul.